guys welcome to today today as you can see is a blizzard out the blizzard like white out conditions uh we we're supposed to get like 30 to 40 centimeters of snow i mean we never had that in forever forever anyways this is what i'm dealing with right now so i open up the arena door and there's like a big snow drift like this <laughs> it goes all the way along and it's only gonna get worse because it's still snowing out. I'm gonna have to wait till it snows. My arena, you can see where all the cold air comes. All the blowing snow is coming from underneath the arena. But yeah, I'm gonna feed the horses in here today. I'm gonna keep this door closed so the snow doesn't come in. And when it stops, I'm gonna get the tractor and clear that out. Um, or shovel it by hand before I put them out there because the other problem is you don't want those those lines touching snow or else it just not, grounds itself out so I'll have to check the whole yard once it stops snowing to make sure the fences are all right and stuff too so yeah, that's today fun good morning guys welcome to today's video it is a blizzard today it is our first blizzard of 2022 in fact it is like the first blizzard in uh, so long sam said that he doesn't even think it's ever snowed like this here for like so long i can barely show you i'll show a picture sam did you vlog this morning on your phone yeah. oh well sam will have already showed you how bad the snow was and it is still coming down like a blizzard but then it goes up to here on me yeah, and then there's snow drifts. Where are the snow drifts? Did you go into any of the snow drifts? No, because there's snow around there. Yeah, and so are we are excited. I went on the driveway. You went on the driveway? Was there ice I underneath? My shoes. Oh, I didn't go that far. I oh. didn't actually go on it. I went on the path to yeah, it. Yeah, it'll slide down the driveway. Yeah, Sam says uh, underneath some of that slow snow is ice. But yeah, it's I exciting. The ice last night. So uh, today is our riding lesson day, and I think it's going to be canceled. Everybody's asking on the Facebook page. Do you think it'll be canceled? If you can't make it, then it will be canceled for you. <laughs> yeah, sucks for you. If you can't make it, then you can't go. <laughs> but we will be there. It, Brandon can make it. It won't be canceled. Yeah, Brandon can make it. It won't be canceled for sure. Anyway. I, I Something. I want to show them. Okay. Sophie wants to show you guys something. Oh, I was gonna show them that. I I had to throw Macy out here today to pee, and she wouldn't go. Obviously, let's get Macy and show them. All right. So we got Macy here, and we're gonna show you. Put my dog on here. Whoa! See, it's taller than Macy. I had to throw her in that this morning. <laughs> she jumped. Daisy, it didn't go in the house. Woo! So we tried to put Daisy out there. She told Daisy, go out, Daisy, go out, Daisy. And Daisy said, no, not in your life. Not in your life. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be a crazy, amazing, fun day. And I can't wait. Yeah, one person driving. Dive driving on the busy highway, one person. Yeah, crazy. It's almost as tall as I know, every day, different, what if different height. What if you're short as me? Every day, a different height, Sophie. <laughs> Let's see, come with me. I'm five foot nine. Getting there. Oh yeah, you still have a ways to go. Wow, Gabby, you look tall. Gabby, whoa. I feel, <laughs> I'm I'm still like, Gabby's still the same height that she was before. Sophie is not. Sophie's just entered her Let's growing stage. This. All right, we have to get back to school. We uh, just took a break to tell you guys how crazy the snow is, how excited we are for the rest of this vlog, and we will see you guys then because as soon as school is done, we we plan to have some fun. All right, so we are like we're getting ready to go outside, and we've that? been trying to figure out our winter stuff. <laughs> Sophie had a little hole in her boot, so she duct taped her boot. So she has one gray boot and one black boot. These oh, are lifetime warranty life boots. So Sophie took my my okay. snow pants because her snow pants are no. kid size. And I can't go outside without snow pants, so I can't. Well, I, I, I think it might fall off of her because she has no leg straps. So but I'm I, holding on right now. Ruby's blanket is holding on. You have a so, smaller mitt than this. So one? I have Sophie's oh, wait, wait, riding wait, wait, pants on that are kid size. This is how they fit me. Can you guys see it? She needs snow pants. Snow pants, like they don't even pull all the way up, but at least I'm protected. So we're going down, and Gabby doesn't wear snow pants. 
All right, we are ready to go out. We're gonna go and try and get the horses out. Oh and we're all gonna have to try and uh, to God, shovel don't. out the arena doorway so that they can get out. It's gonna be interesting. No, Molly. Gary, let her go without a coat. She has her hair. We're gonna take you guys Everybody with us. <laughs> Gabby's trying to dress the dogs. The dogs are so excited to go out. Oh, my other hair. <laughs> She's like, forget the jacket. Ruby, Gabby, sit. Ruby, take... come here. Ruby, come here. Ruby, come here. Come here, Ruby. Come here, don't get the drama. All right, we're ready. We're sort of ready. Only one dog has a jacket on, so I guess that's just how we roll. Can I jump in it? Yeah, jump in it. <laughs> hey, leave her alone. <laughs> no! No! Gabby, don't touch my wrist. Where are your gloves? In my pocket. Holy heck! I can't move! In the other door. <sighs> okay. I don't know what I was thinking, but pants that don't fit you don't work. I have to take them off. Just wait. Wait till I take these pants off. I can't even move. Things are calm in the in the barn, but there's snow. <laughs> there's snow in the barn. The horses are all like, what is happening? Oh, snow. That's snow, Penny Pickle. <laughs> she likes it. Ruby. Oh, I'm so glad to get those pants off. Those pants were worse than my shapewear. Oh. Oh, snow. You got the shovel, Sophie? So the horses are excited to go out. Sam said he left them in here this morning because I'll show you why. He, oops, he said Penny was confused, couldn't figure it out why she was stuck inside, but I'm so grateful to have this because trying to get them out first thing this morning would have been impossible. All right, Gabby, you think you can open the door? Yeah. I think Did you unplug the fence? Yes. All right, so the horses are excited. <laughs> They're like, just let us out, Laura. <laughs> oh, are you ready, Penny Pickle? Look how calm she is. You ready? <laughs> Sophie, she might need help. Whoa, snow everywhere. <laughs> And the horses are waiting. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be crazy. It's almost a solo. <laughs> it's... Here, Gabby, you're stronger than you. We Here, both of you guys back. push. Uh oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I can't fit, guys. Will is like, let me do it. Oh my gosh, they're getting so excited. Just all pile up right there. On the outside? Okay, Gabby's gonna go out and climb through the door. What the hell? I can't even go. <laughs> Wait, I want to go wait, through, wait, 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 wait. So this is how deep the snow is. Oh, the rest is ice That's though. That's deep. not safe. So she'll dig. Oh, and I'll push. Okay. This is how it's got to happen, you guys. This is how we got to do it. Car opening it. Oh, no. I think she's going to have to shovel all the way along. I was like, I'm going to go. Oh. I got it a little. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. My legs are. My legs are frozen. It's all the way up to Gabby's hip. Yeah. I don't want them running either. They won't run. They, they won't run. Penny's already running. Okay, a little bit more. Oh, oh, they're oh, going to Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Penny. Will is like, I'm going out now. Like, she does not want to be in here. Penny's over there. She likes to stay away from the drama. She's just like me. <laughs> just joking. I'm always in the drama. I'm always in the drama. Even when I don't want to be. All right. We're almost done. 
Okay, the next one I'm gonna give a big push. All right, hold on, Gabby's a perfectionist. She's gotta get it all, oh, she's coming back. <laughs> I don't want them to run because it's dangerous. Okay, push. Why do you wear ripped jeans? Stop. <laughs> ripped jeans. Guys, push, quickly. Willow okay. wants to go. Okay, hold on. Hold up. I need help. <laughs> Oh. Gabby, you hold oh, I can't push it. Gabby, you hold Willow. I think this is as big as it's gonna get. Like Penny's yeah. not getting out here. She is. Uh oh, she's coming. Give myself a hernia trying to push the door open. We can't. Sam, all cool. Just push the door. Like, yeah. Gabby, don't push my stomach. And move. I can't even reach. I need somebody there. <laughs> I know, you need leverage. Put your back up against the door. Don't break your phone though. Just push Bro. the door. Bro! Like, I hate when people say that. Oh, just open it, you guys. Wait, <laughs> little mini. Wait. <laughs> no. No, let's watch him. Let's watch him. Like, what? She's gonna come? Give me the crap. He's like mad now. She's like, Bro! Watch out, everybody watch out. Sam is coming, he'll just open the door. He's pushing the, the thing way closer to the thing. You need to push this out, make a channel, and then you can slide it. Now you just screw everything over. All right, go ahead, Sam, just push it. You take charge of that. <laughs> is that big enough for all of them? All right, we're ready. Are we ready to let the ponies through? Okay, I'm gonna try and video it. There. No, I have to be here. Oh All right. Pony one, let the pony out. Where is that video? Wait, let's let the ponies run through first. They're not going to run through. Come on. Yeah, Great Willow, come on. Oh, she, she sees the snow and now she's like, forget it. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, go. <laughs> it's up to her nose. <laughs> she's so funny. She's like, this is impossible. <laughs> You can't stop me! <laughs> She's making it. Go oh, good feet. God. Oh, oh good think God. she got through. Go slow. Penny just hops over it. Well, that was way less eventful than I thought, thought it was gonna be. They're looking for, for food. All right, we gotta throw hay out there. They're trying to get out. They went right to try and get out. They know. Not even the right side to get out. I know, but they know. They know how it works. Gracie's testing the fence right now. They're coming here. Uh-oh, here it comes. Here it happens. Uh-oh, that little mini causing trouble. We know what you're doing, little mini. Let's go sledding now. No, we gotta help dad shovel. I'm breaking my shoulder. Don't! Coming through, move! Uh-oh, wait, wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Look how cute the pictures would be. Uh oh. <laughs> Where the heck are you going, Sam says. And this is why the other horses don't love Gracie. She's like not the smartest. But she's the most athletic and she's the cutest. Hey, Willow's the cutest. Willow's cute too. They're all cute, but I feel like. Gracie's the cutest. I feel like this is a job for a tractor. Tractor with a snowblower, I don't have that. Horses are happy to be out. Here, I'm gonna try to cycle here from this side. Yeah, cover the ice really good. Yeah. Throw the snow to Molly. Molly. I was like, do you wanna feel, but no. Throw it again. Get it, Molly, get it. Get it. Not again. Oh my god. <laughs> so we made a path. That's a, I helped. Barely. Typically my back doesn't hurt, but when you're tall, shoveling is the fastest way to a sore back. I feel it's starting to seize up a little, so I'm like, eh, I'll let the kids shovel. Yeah. Did your back seize up? Huh? Did your back seize up? No. Yeah, he should shovel then. 
Anyway, that is it for our very first time, like ever really I having. I did most of this. I know, you did good. It's our first time ever having this much snow, you guys. Like, oh, I see a tow, oh, there's a tow truck. Tow trucks, yeah. Like, I hardly see any people on the car, on the road. People are all just still digging themselves oh, out. Uh, where we live in Canada means that we don't get usually like this much snow. We get snow, but other places in Canada get it way worse than us. So if we found the sled, let's go see if the dogs will pull the sled. I want to train Willow to pull the sled. I think that would be so fun. And today is such a gorgeous day outside. We are inside and I'm sitting down to have lunch. I'll show you what it is. Super yummy, one of my favorite lunches, peanut butter and celery and raisins, yum. So the girls are playing Roblox with their friends. If it gets noisy, that's why. And I wanted to end this vlog by showing you guys something that I found three days ago. I actually prayed to God recently and said like, I need some kind of spiritual motivation. And um, I saw somewhere, someone mentioned that they had this amazing Bible app. And I looked and looked and looked and I could not find this Bible app. Or the ones that I did find, I did not think were wonderful. And then all of a sudden I was playing a game the other night, three nights ago, and this a Bible app showed up. I'm gonna show you guys what it is. It looks like that. It's the King James, James Bible and it looks like that. And literally, it is amazing. Like, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it so much. It's taught me so much in three days. Like, there's a game you can play on it there to test, like, your skills. It's a puzzle. They And there's, like, a Bible verse. There's a lesson each day. Twice a day, they send, like, a motivational message. Also, it reads the Bible to you. Like, there's just so many aspects to this app that I love so much. Each day it teaches me something so profound I can't even believe. And I wanted to share with you guys something that I learned. So I already knew this and I already have been striving to do it but the app told me the same thing in a different way today that shed so much more light on this for me. So basically what it said to me today was that God God always has your well-being in mind, even when it seems like it's not. So every time we have adversity and bad things happen, even though it feels bad and awful to us now, God knows our ultimate, God knows the ultimate purpose for everything that happens to us. And even though we don't know it and it feels like the end of the world to us, God does know and he knows that we're gonna come through it and he knows the skills we're gonna learn and he knows we're gonna be better people for having gone through this adversity. And so what the app told me was to try and look at all adversity the way that God looks at it as like a lesson or something to get through or like a... So instead of saying like, oh no, like poor me, like my coworker is being mad, mean to me again and I don't know how to get past this, like I'm going to have to quit my job, it's just so stressful. Instead, if you look at it like, wow. So God has put this person in front of me that's making life really difficult for me. Let's see if I can figure it out. If I can figure it out, then I can move on to the next thing God has planned for me. So instead of getting frustrated and angry at your coworker, you can look at your coworker and be, coworker and be like, hmm, what is it that God wants me to learn? And then if you look at all adversity like that as a lesson to be learned or um, challenge to be conquered then it changes your mindset about adversity and then you don't have as much unhappiness and then you'll know that all adversity does end at some point 
and it just makes it easier to bear. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It was so profound for me and so interesting, and I swear it's changed my life. And just so many things, and like, I've only had the app for three days, and every day is like this huge whirlwind of understanding that happens in me and I just thought that I should share it with you guys too because maybe some of you guys out there are like me looking for more spiritual incentive or inspiration and maybe this could work for you it definitely works for me it talks in normal language it's not like super hard to understand and I really I really like it Daisy really likes it too she's like yes just keep tickling me and tickling me and tickling me while you talk <laughs> Anyway, that is it for today's video because the girls are going to be playing Roblox. They found new friends on there. Actually, they're friends that we already know. We met them at Champs, but they've gotten to be really close friends. They've been playing Roblox for the last three days together. Uh, so that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, lessons are canceled for tonight. We're doing them later in the week. Don't you know that you're beautiful?